So let's see, Sagittarius, what your soulmate wants to tell you. Let's see. I don't know. I'm seeing heartbreak and changes. Okay. The last one and we're back. Good. Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. The overall message, the most important one. And it's the Eight of Pentacles. Well, so that is a break. Probably you are not talking. And, um, yeah. Anyways, if the cards are coming back, I'm gonna... Uh, we're gonna take it, but this is a message for you Sagittarius that um, they are thinking and planning and strategizing they are uh, they want to focus on the connection they want to focus on you that's the king of wands you might be dealing with the Capricorn we do have the uh, Capricorn here and of course they love you that is the two of cups that um, emotion soulmate connection emotional bond um, you know, that um, understanding without speaking, that kind of energy, right? Um, and it seems that they are um, thinking about you, you are thinking about them, if that's a Capricorn you are dealing with. And um, they are also focusing on something else during the break, maybe the career, maybe the money. Um, maybe they have some uh, financial insecurities, that is something connected to the work and workplace and money and skills. So they are focusing probably on that and a little bit less um, on the connection because I believe that is a break. But they love you. They love you. Okay. Probably you have a family with them, Sagittarius. We do have the um, Ten of Pentacles, which is family card. This is about financial stability and security, right? Kind of energy. This is about commitment, you know, the house, the kids, the home. So they want to offer you that or they want to continue to offer you that if you have a family here with them. They want to be there, but of course there are fights. That is something that is, um, you know, kind of difficult between the two of you and they are actually acknowledging, you know, the conflict and the fights and taking advantage. You now have five, tw twice the five. Five is the card for tw chance of choices and changes yeah i was about to say chances maybe it is about chances um if not they want to tell you that is you know the uh, the break it's kind of the second card saying that you are on a break or not talking or in a conflict or in a conflict mode um and they are kind of acknowledging and feeling left out in a cold and they think about you that it, this is exactly your energy prince of one so no matter i, I believe it's a Kind of the same line here uh no matter if on a break or not no matter if focusing on the connection or not they uh, love you and they think about you and they feel passionate about you you know prince of wands is all about um you know he's a pleasure seeker so uh he has fun so that's kind of energy they see you as a person you know uh that's passionate have you know kind of um loving to have fun playful that kind of energy but they, they feel conflicted about this connection. They feel the pain of being left out in a cold and they want you to know. They feel the pain of the conflict that is between the two of you and the lack of effort. That is something about the lack of effort here. So they are unhappy about something. They are such as they are unhappy about a betrayal. They feel this is their energy and their message. Again, you might be dealing with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn here. And that is a sense of loss and regret and pain and betrayal and not being happy about what's going on right now. This is also them wanting to be victorious, wanting to be acknowledged for their love and the uh, emotions that they have for you. This is wanting to be, um, you know, um, victorious in the connection that you guys have. Um, I believe it's a solid one. We do have the Ten of Pentacles here. It was one probably based on love and marriage. Um, but they are feeling stuck. I'm seeing the strength card twice. This is a Leo card, so I don't know such that is if you are dealing with a Leo or a fellow fire sign. Now, your soulmate is telling you that they feel stuck, it's, uh, it's um, kind of difficult to have a change in their life right now. And this is again Taurus Virgo, the Capricorn energy with the Prince of Pentacles. This is also saying, Yes, I feel stuck. 
and it's kind of difficult to give you the pentacle that i have which is an offer right and pentacles is about um yeah it's financial but i don't feel it's about money right it's more about um you know wanting to be with you to spend time with you to reconcile and 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 get back together and here comes the leo again you have it three times so far so i don't know if you are dealing with a leo or some or you have leo in your chart sagittarius can be that too if not they feel stuck and they feel wounded and they feel um nine of wands they feel that they need to protect themselves overcoming internal struggle so if you are dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn they are not in good shape they are not in good shape they are uh trying to protect themselves uh you know have the uh, most out of the out of a situation in pain three of swords okay they love you though but they are in pain over something that happened and in in a morn in a morning kind of um you know pain and regrets and guilt and wanting to come out of it uh, the Hierophant in reverse, somebody has a sense of uh, lacking commitment or that is a sense of lacking commitment. If not, this can also be about a form of commitment that is kind of out of the box. It's not a traditional one or maybe Sagittarius, you are connecting with somebody who is from a different culture, different skin color, different religion, that kind of energy. And they want something with you that is kind of non-traditional and out of the box connection. King of Swords, King of Swords, that's um, an energy of wanting communication, wanting uh, to make things fair and just. Um, he's a lawyer, a judge, law enforcement, army, or whatever, so maybe they work in that field. If not, this is your soulmate asking you or telling you that the situation has to be fair and just. Even if it's cold, at least it's balanced in some way, and it's fair for everybody involved. And here comes your Leo again so um can also be a message from your soulmate saying that uh they are trying to be strong on their best behavior tame themselves uh can also be an energy of them wanting uh strongly to have a fair uh well-balanced connection you know the king of swords is all about speaking the truth and um you know uh, balancing things and making what's fair what's just what's legal kind of energy um the strength is also a card of, um, um, you know, taming uh, kind of the impulses um, inside of us. So they might uh, feel extremely attracted to you and they are trying to be on their best behavior. That's also another energy here. And then we have Pisces Cancer, the moon, but also can be about secrets. So they strongly, they might strongly believe that you are keeping secrets and they are telling you, I know you do. I have this strong sense of uh, you are hiding something from me or kindly feeling strong. Um, um, I'm sorry, feeling lost, um, you know, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. And that's a feeling that's kind of overwhelming. And of course, they uh, want to have reconciliation with you, Sagittarius. We do have the Three of Cups in reverse, but they don't know um, how to proceed. And this is also with the Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Maybe that is a third party situation that they know about. And that is why the betrayal and that is why this uh, feeling lost and uh, kind of, you know, being um, out in the woods and not having, a, you know, a clue where to go and what to do. I believe because somehow that is a sense of family here, but also financial stability. So maybe, um, you know, I'm getting a sense of somebody wanting to close their eyes on a, on a betrayal or whatever. But I'm picking up the energy of a strong earth sign, um, such that is, and I've, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who feels really betrayed by something and still, and still loving you and still being in pain over what happened and still trying to, to be strong, to have direction, you know, to overcome, um, you know, um, a sense of loneliness in this and being victorious you know making it right making it fair making it balanced you know there are kids in the ten of uh, pentacles so probably somebody has kids and because of this that is the sense of uh you know well i don't know 
What do you think Sagittarius? Please let me know what you think. Of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. I love you. Take care. Bye.